All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> this podcast is brought to you by NordVPN. <laughs> Uh, go to nordvpn.com slash bhlhudson or use code bhlhudson to save 72% off a two-year plan. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 128th episode. Uh, uh, I thought I had such a good transition there, but it was truly it terrible. Was, it, it was seamless. <laughs> 20, it's the 28th, yes. 128th episode of the Poorly Planned Podcast. My name is Benedict. You may know me better as BHL Hudson. Here we talk about movies, TV shows, a bunch of nonsense. With me, as always, is my friend, co-host, and deathly ill. I shouldn't say that. Non-deathly ill. <laughs> be, very, be, be very bad if I, if I die before this pod went up. <laughs> be very bad if you told me beforehand that you had a deathly illness. And I opened it like that. And my deathly <laughs> ill buddy, Frederick. I've got about a few weeks to live. And here is my terminally ill friend, Freddie. <laughs> what a horribly dark way to open the pod. <laughs> First a Nord ad, and then... You being potential, but no, it doesn't are- get more apocalyptic. <laughs> no, you are you're just you're just a little under the weather. You told me before. Just we a little started. under the weather, yeah. Just under the weather. Ho- hopefully, hopefully we're all Gucci. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 here. To, I'm ready to pod, despite the fact that I have to say I have been talking nonstop all day, and I'm very tired of hearing my own voice. So I'm. Why just have you like- been talking uh, <laughs> nonstop all day? Um. Well, because I had I had my. Uh, I mean, I've been monologuing just alone in my room. <laughs> I mean, I've been ranting maniacally into the mirror. Um, I've just been yelling at the wall for the last hour. <laughs> just about how much I hated the movie Uncharted. We're going to get to that. Um, Ooh, I've, okay. I did my radio show. Uh, I met some friends for lunch. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I made to... a friend. <laughs> I went out of my house. Um, <laughs> I had to I had to do this thing for... Yeah, it, no one cares. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Ben, ben Mark takes to the streets. But I saying. am... Still ready to pod like a champion. Anyway. <laughs> like a champion. Also, before we start, I just have one quick little little story to open with. Just because, just you know, we, we okay. mention things in the pod sometimes. and just, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's been a while since we had an old man BHL rant. So I just... I, and I want to let you know this as well. <laughs> Cut back to three episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, come back legit to last episode where someone probably like drove past on the street. I was like, you fucking idiot. Shut up. You absolute moronic piece of <laughs> bastard shit. Sorry. <laughs> Piece of bastard shit. That's intense. Um, but basically, <laughs> I went to this ball prom thing, and I th- actually I put it up on my story, so you've seen it. But um, mm. and it was it was a fun old time. But they made the inexplicable decision to have like what I'm assuming is my college's marching band, which I did not know we had. <laughs> Playing covers <laughs> because if I knew we had one, I would absolutely be on it. I would be the captain. Uh, <laughs> playing covers of popular songs incredibly loudly on like trumpets and trombones, and like this one kid had this giant fucking like tr- it looked like a thing from Dr. Seuss that like wrapped around his head or some shit. I was like, how is he even holding that up? And, and it was so maddeningly loud it was like the entertainment as we were like all coming to sit down or whatever and then, and then like you had to yell over it like you were at a club or something to like communicate with the people sitting right next to you the cool the coolest club a bunch <laughs> yeah. of classical instruments Marching playing band club and look no no hate or offense to them i'm sure you know uh it's not their fault that no one tested out the acoustics in the room or told them that all their instruments were on oh, tune all- that was me. i thought I'm you were sorry. gonna say it's not their fault that they're awful at the- <laughs> well also they were all completely I don't know what the right tune is, but it was not that. I'm sorry again. I hope no one hears this. You were great and good job, guys. But still, why? Who cleared this? Anyway, that's what I went up and yelled at them. <laughs> Who let this happen? I need to talk to the I'd manager. like to see a permit for this fucking performance. <laughs> but no, otherwise a good time. Anyway, uh, here we talk about movies, so we should probably do that. Um, but we, we're going to do... <laughs> not weird trombone <laughs> accidents. <laughs> we're going to do many reviews. We're going to do news and we're going to do a bit of a sneaky sneaky topic. Um are you oh, ready and amazing. excited? I I'm excited. <laughs> that's good enough for me. I'll take that. <laughs> that's all you, that's all you can get. From Better me. than we usually are. Um <laughs> would you like to start off with some mini reviewing? You you wouldn't dare. Well, you know what? And and I and I kid you not. Min- I was I was sitting there doing my work. Uh, just before we started recording this, I was like, oh, it's going good. I felt extra productive, so I got it done a little bit fast. 20 minutes before, in fact, oh, which did allow me to watch the latest episode of Attack on Titan. Cue oh. the intro. Oh. Yes. We're back, baby. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it better be cued, BHL. Um, 
And honestly, very, very good. I mean, it, the show, it just it keeps on going on and on and on with the greatness. But I'm getting a little bit worried because there are two episodes left in the season. And it's supposedly the final season. And there's still so much stuff that needs to be cleared up. Mm. So I am, I'm interested in seeing how they're, how they're going to do that. Because last time they said it was going to be the final season as well. And I was like, oh, what's what's going on here? And then the final episode happened. It's like, what's what's this epic conclusion going to be? And then it just cuts to, it's going to come back. There's another season. Mm. So maybe they're just going to do that again. But hopefully not. But anyways, it's it's so, so good. What? To uh, Go on. I was going to say, I guess it would be better for them to do another season than them to leave it at an unsatisfying conclusion. Yeah, I, I don't think they would leave it at an unsatisfying conclusion. Because it's based on... Because <laughs> they're like, so the, smart. The, because it's such a clever show. Um, but it's, I mean, it's based on the manga, which is already written. So, like, they can't really mm. mess it up that much, I don't think. Um, well, but yeah. Game of Thrones was based on books. and then. But then the last two seasons aren't based on the books. That's true. No, you make a good point. What can I say? I've, oh, oh. All right, we'll get to it. <laughs> um, and then uh, the two returning characters came back and fought side by side again. Very, very exciting. Um, and honestly... I love it. It, it. It's just good. Like, I repeat myself every week, but it's just, it's a brilliant show. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep you updated on if eventually they make a bad episode or even just an average episode that Freddie will admit is not very good. But so far, so good. Yeah. So far, it hasn't happened. <laughs> and will never. Um, well, I only have one mini review for this week, and it is, in fact, the film Uncharted. Um, mm. Spoilers for Uncharted, by the way. Time code's down below. Which, Let's talk about it. As we established, I yelled at my walls about. Um, yeah. You have you have seen it. I have seen it. What a ooh! How do I put this politely? What a garbage film. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, really bad. It's sir. It's Very not bad. a good movie. I was I I was actually quite. I wasn't quite disappointed. <laughs> the professional review. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> Garbage movie. No, I mean... Also, by the way, do you know... Directed by Ruben Fleischer, director of Zombieland and Venom 2. What a track record. My God. Zombieland's pretty good. Yeah, no, that's why I'm, I'm like... What a weird up-and-down career. Like, making a great movie, then making two... He makes a great movie, movies. then makes a terrible movie, and then he makes another terrible movie. Yeah. I was not expecting it to be good, uh, but I thought it would at least be, like... Fun, fun and like have a little bit of i was i'm not gonna lie i was looking forward to some holland Wahlberg banter it is the most forced... i thought you're gonna say some some <laughs> holland Wahlberg love making i mean who wouldn't be looking forward to that we can actually would you okay would you not be genuinely excited <laughs> if that happened <laughs> only if the film was rated x <laughs> only freddie's face only just drops was... dramatically and then <laughs> rose in a grinch-esque smile <laughs> only if this was exclusively available on certain sites <laughs> um by the way did you ah, never mind <laughs> no, 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 no 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 let me hear it let no hear i was it. doing some research for a paper about like for a paper for an essay for my class for, like a for phd a... or something for an essay for my film yeah, class. so my dissertation i was doing a bit of a uh, background <laughs> research and did you know that x videos is like the third most visited website in on the internet or something what my essay was about i just like to be clear i was looking to see what how uh, youtube so was what your essay was about <laughs> the essay title is just which rank does x videos have <laughs> it just says three that's the it's, a, it's an in-depth four thousand word essay it is a proper paper <laughs> that is my dissertation the essay title is <laughs> what draws a man to want to watch Uncharted and then immediately go to X videos? <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, how do we get to that? Anyway, yeah, I'd like to be clear. I don't it? know, you literally <laughs> pulled that out of nowhere. <laughs> that's, that's it was about YouTube. Anyway. I think we were talking about Wahlberg lovemaking. Oh, that's said, right. By the way, no, you, you mentioned pornography. Sites, so, I, <laughs> so anyway, um, what a terrible movie. Where were we? Um, I was looking forward to some Wahlberg Holland banter and it was so bad. <laughs> It was just, it was, uh, can we agree? I wanted Wahlberg Hall of Banter. <laughs> I go up to the, the guy at the there was a distinct lack of said banter. <laughs> I want my money back. Um, there, no, it, yeah, it was, it was not, not a good movie. It was the most phoned in performance from both Wahlberg and Holland you've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I have not seen many Wahlberg performances that aren't phoned in, but 
But like, especially Holland, who's like a. But Holland, he's such a charismatic, charismatic young dude. and a, he's a young up and comer. He's building his franchises or whatever, and then he's just like. And he decides to make one of his founding pillars <laughs> uncharted with the man who created the wall burger. <laughs> What's going on? He just. It seemed weirdly like a Bruce Willis esque like paycheck performance, where it's like he just showed up, even though he hated it. <laughs> and I was just like, why? Like, why are you so? Anyway, I was not a fan, and then it was uh, very. And also, and also, the girl was just. Strange. I for, so many, like at, at the end when they were like, hey, uh, spoilers, whatever. It's not really a spoiler. The, at, there's a part of the end where like, hey, look out the window. It's the girl. And I was like, I legitimately forgot she was a character. I was like, who are they looking at? I was like, oh, wait. She's the least consequential character of all. Like, she helps them a little bit. Then she gets saved. And then she tries to trick Tom Holland, but he's too sneaky and puts in the wrong freaking, like, oh my God. GPS coordinate. And she's like, oh, I sail off into the sunset. And that's literally her character. Yeah. I also enjoy that they... All, they all alternate between being the smartest and the dumbest human beings on the planet, like scene to scene. Um, mm. It was just, it was horrific. I mean, okay, I'm getting, <laughs> I get so worked up on this podcast. I feel like you bring out the worst of me. I'm like, it was horrifically edited. It was <laughs> poorly edited and poorly paced. And I felt like scenes just kind of started and ah, the action was... Te- See, okay, that's a weird complaint. Scenes just kind of started. But like the scenes didn't have like any... <laughs> At some point, the credits <laughs> rolled. And I was like, what's going on here? This like, is so poorly like, managed. No structure to the... I don't know, the way things played out. And the the action was bad. It was like you couldn't tell what was happening. There's one fight towards the end where like you literally can't tell where people are in the fight scene the way it's edited. Um, yeah. Also freaking... Um... What's what's the actor's name? Antonio Banderas. He just oh yeah. Also the most like generic whatever villain who like you, like it just felt like such a template that they put in like okay and now he's gonna do this generic villain thing and then this twist happens and then all and suddenly then, suddenly he's he's blah, dead. Blah, blah. It's like who Lol. cares? And who's gonna voice Puss in Boots now? Oh, <laughs> they are making the sequel. Puss in Boots. The, <laughs> the sequel. Puss in Boots. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> It's a very <laughs> ominous poster. It's just completely black. <laughs> I just assumed in face of Humpty Dumpty. That sounds so scary. <laughs> I know. Genuinely oh terrifying. Puss in boots, dot, dot, dot. Humpty Dumpty's face, but you see a little crack where Puss in Boots' eyes is peeking out. It's a motion. Humpty Dumpty's poster. been dead for years and it's been used as a shell for Puss in Boots to just hide in. Um... I thought it was like it also had these really sh- weird shoehorned in reference to references to the video game. Also, like some parts of it felt like a video game, but not in a good way. Like it's like the whole part with the keys and shit. It was like, yeah, it was like this okay. feels like a mission from a video game that would not really be that fun to play, let alone watch Mark Wahlberg do. I was just uh, <laughs> not a fan personally. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, also like one of the again spoilers. One of the least like surprising things at the end was like, oh, his brother's actually alive. Yeah, oh, number two is coming. Although. The one takeaway we can, we like, one positive takeaway we can get from this movie is that at the end, there is perhaps a contender of Stash of the Year. I was forced to leave before the end credits. So I, I know there was a Stash scene. It was in the trailers. But, what um, in the world? I was, yeah. I mean, I saw the brother thing, but then as, as we were on our way out, I, like, heard the Stash scene start. So. I, I just heard the Stash <laughs> ruffle in the wind. <laughs> it made a distinct but yet very disturbing noise. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it was, it was a fun movie to make fun of after you see it, but it was not a very entertaining or interesting watch, in my opinion, besides the yeah, parts Not, not really to done. take away from the uh, people we watched this with, yes. but I do think that you, if you and I watched this together, I think we would have, a, have had a lot more fun with it. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. I mean, we did, it was actually a bit of a Jack Reacher 2 scenario where, like, at first, we were both kind of trying to take it a bit seriously and trying not to be, you know... Trying not mm. to make fun of it too much, but then at a certain point, I believe <laughs> at the part where the the crate falls in the ocean at like supersonic speeds or whatever, and like their spines oh, yeah. aren't immediately pulverized, we kind mm-hmm. of looked over at each other and started laughing. So it kind of just devolved into nonsense. But yeah, I think that would have been again. There's so many good Woody movies that are just being wasted on other people. <laughs> Uncharted. We were not fans, and no offense to the people we saw it with. It was great. Yeah, I mean, I've got two. I'll, I'll say one quick one. Uh... My girlfriend has been watching Game of Thrones, and I just cheekily watch a few episodes here and there. You peek in. With her. Always just, it's, it's such a good show. Like, mm. on season three right now, it's just, just brilliant. Um, nothing much more to say there. Then, mm. uh, a semi-big one. We've already talked a bunch about it on the pod, but it's more the, the situation. <laughs> Peacemaker. Got home, 
after a little pub quiz. Wait, when was this? I did, in fact, introduce her to... Buenos tardes, Raimundo. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, you sent a... I got a cheeky I, snap of the opening credits, and I was like, no. He wouldn't. No, he, he, would, he wouldn't dare. He wouldn't so, ruin yeah, a relationship watching, like that. <laughs> he wouldn't dare risk it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so watch The Gentleman. Classic time. with a bit of with a bit of um K, a bit of KFC on the bed. Just, no, just, it was a good time. She loved it. Ah, she's a key. She bloody loved it. She loved the coachman. Ah, of course. I apologize. There's people walking into my house, and I hate them. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> That'll be my flat pants. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah. So watch the gentleman. A brilliant time as always. I've seen. I think I've seen it like <laughs> six or seven times now. Just one of my favorite movies. See, yeah, it ah warms my heart. Just also good memories. Oh, and, the cinema. and as we're sitting there, very like into it, she leans over and says, "This boxes of Bush is actually a pretty good song." <laughs> and I was like, "God, marry that woman." <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't a joke. <clears throat> um. Also, there's what is there? A f- joke. Fucking motorcycle parade outside again. I mean, we've re. Congrats, we had the grumpy BHL thing, but like, what is going on? <laughs> Congrats, you brought it out in me. <laughs> well, um, if that is all, we have some big news, and by big news, I mean completely inconsequential news that will blast right through, much like Mark Wahlberg blasts through burger food chains. First of all, did you see the Obi Wan Kenobi trailer for the Obi Wan Kenobi show? <laughs> oh my god, you actual fool. Um. I mean, it looks cool in the sense that I'm excited to see Ewan McGregor back. And it is one of the Star Wars things that I am a bit excited about. Like, I didn't watch Mm -hmm. uh, Book of Boba Fett. But I will say, I don't know, some of it... Like, Obi-Wan is only in the trailer for a little bit. I guess I get get it's a teaser. You want to tease the McGreg. But it it looks a bit (laughs) like... that out of context. (laughs) Like, a bit of a... I don't know, these Star Wars Disney Plus shows, and even the more recent films... They have this certain look to them and the certain vibe that it's starting to feel very samey. Like it's like, mm. like this book of Boba Fett, even Mandalorian a little bit, Solo, Rogue One. There's a little bit of this feel to it where it's like, and then here's this alien that looks this way. And then it's, oh my God, it's a lightsaber spinning a little bit. And then this person has goofy makeup. And then it's like the sand desert again. And it's mm. like a little bit like, it, I'll, I'll say I won't, I won't include Mandalorian in that one. Cause I think that's a genuinely very good show. No, but no, I, I like the show the, a lot. I'm saying like the, is, the imagery, uh, yeah. the, the iconography one could say, uh, Ooh, it's so, <laughs> tell he does a, a, a movie degree <laughs> that I write PhDs for about YouTube, the site to be clear. Um, oh. <laughs> but, uh, sure. <laughs> um, the, yeah, I'm just saying like, like, for example, like some of the shots in this trailer, you could take them out and like show them to me and I'd have no idea like if they were from this or Book of Boba Fett or Mandalorian or whatever, like, cause they all, all just kind of like, I don't know, but I am I mean, excited I guess it is, it. it is, it is all in the same world. So, I mean, I guess that'll, that'll happen. No, yeah. I just, I don't know. It's also probably cause I'm not, you know, crazy into Star Wars. Like, I'm sure if you're not really into Marvel, some of you would say the same about that. But um, I am excited for it, though. And there's a bit of Obi-Wan watching Luke. And he's like, make sure Luke doesn't die or whatever. And it's a big old lightsaber that's like, spins. And, you know, it looks it looks okay. So, so when what is the timeline here? It's after Obi-Wan. the prequels, but before the originals. Anyway, it looks pretty good. I am excited for it, despite, I don't know, it didn't look as good as I was hoping. But it was also a teaser. So, still excited. Okay. Did you see the trailer for Ben Affleck is married to Anna Darmus, but Anna Darmus is sleeping with a lot of other guys? <laughs> the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> they were dating for a bit, weren't they? Were they? Wild. It's called Deep Water, and it's like kind Deep of a water. thriller or something. Thriller, horror or something. And so like they're married, and then... Is this kind of like a Gone Girl meets yes. Knock Knock? Well, I don't know. It's like she's like with a bunch of other guys and I don't know if like maybe it's her job or something. Like she's with all these other guys and then it just cuts to like Affleck watching like deadpan and Rod's in it. Oh. Rod playing Affleck's buddy and he's like, you can't let her do this to you, man. And Affleck's like, you don't And Affleck just smiles. <laughs> Affleck's like, well, actually it is a fetish. It's probably a really serious <laughs> movie. I'm like about something really intense. <laughs> <laughs> to quote the great uh, <laughs> Fletcher Mundo. Gonna wank off into a hanky? <laughs> but um, it does look interesting because then it's also like, and then suddenly there's like a murder or something, and you know, oh, there's a murder. Yeah, there's murder afoot. So anyway, 
Good stuff. Um, Sean Levy. What a twist it would be if Ooh. there's this very, very serious movie about, like, misogyny and, Probably. and you know, like, and, and all that stuff. And then Poirot walks in. <laughs> what? Because there's a murder. Uh, <laughs> that's a good point, you know. I. Uh. It's not at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was very generous of me. Um, I do like where your head's at, though. Uh, kind of. Um, <laughs> Sean Levy or Sean Levy is directing Deadpool three, and you will know him as the director of The Adam Project, which recently released on Netflix. Ryan Reynolds is a future man, or Free Guy. <gasps> Free Guy. So he clearly, him and Reynolds. So he clearly, clearly has a. He loves. He loves the Reynolds. Who doesn't? Um, True. But yeah, I guess he. And I mean, also Deadpool three officially announced. I don't know if it had been yet, but um, yeah. But yeah, I don't know if I've heard anything about it. Do do we have like a release? Date well, yeah, no. Stuff? Well, Reynolds put on his Twitter. He was like, "The third film in my Sean Levy trilogy will be a tad more stabby," and it's a picture of Deadpool with all the other characters. So, yeah, so good stuff. It'll probably, I'd guess, probably come out twenty twenty four, just based on how these things usually go. Um, but that's exciting. So far away, surely late twenty twenty three. Well, maybe. I mean, he's. I think Deadpool's also probably going to pop up in other stuff, including probably Doctor, Mister Doctor Strange, Doctor. Um, but I think that's a pretty good choice, I guess. He's not really like his action scenes were. The action in Free Guy was good, but it wasn't really like Deadpool esque. Like I like the first no, one, but I guess I guess it wasn't the movie for that kind of action. No, true. Yeah, so it's not. Yeah, so basically, we haven't seen. I don't think we've seen evidence that he would make a great fit, but we also haven't seen that he wouldn't. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, I think the humor is there, but yeah, especially if you are whether, rated up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. But whether or not the the action's there, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, but so far that series pretty damn solid. I'd say. I think Deadpool one is great. I think Deadpool two, while not as good, was still very enjoyable. So yeah, could different be, direction, but still very good. Could be a solid trilogy here, you know. Do your flatmates just like scream sometimes, just in the kitchen? <laughs> just like <laughs> they do genuinely. My flatmates are loud and obnoxious, and I do not enjoy living with them. Now, should I actually cut that out, or should I leave that in? Because I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You can, you can. Uh, I'll make a discretionary call there. Definitely leaving it in. I'm just saying, I love my flatmates, and I definitely love living with them. But also, sometimes some of them go in the kitchen and just scream, and I'm like, why are you doing that? I'm sure it can't be that exciting that you have to just scream. Then again, also they have to hear me podcasting, so like, I guess it's a fair trade. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> um, Sh- Sham Raimi. Sam Raimi wants to make a Batman <laughs> movie. If I saw the bat signal, I'd come running. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> if I saw the bat signal, I'd just my pants. <laughs> Unrelated Sam Raimi that, quotes? That... <laughs> it's just something Mark Wahlberg said once. <laughs> I like how that's how you absolutely announced that he's making a Batman movie. <laughs> Yeah, so I saw the bat signal. You know what happened, and now it's a movie. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, that would, I don't think it'll happen. I think this is just one of those Sam things. Sam Raimi, who's who? What's he done again? The original three Spider-Man movies. He's doing the next Doctor mm. Strange. He did like Evil Dead and that kind of stuff. Great director, but I mean, I don't. This is not going to happen. It's just one of those things that he said like in an interview, like offhand, and now it's like a big article. But we can put it in here so we can include both Batman and Sam Raimi in the title and. Tags and description. Let's go. Thumbnail. And then there were a couple of images from Doctor Strange 2 from Empire, the new Empire thing. There's a picture of Wanda. And there's a picture of Doctor Strange. Not really exciting. Oh, there's well, there's a new one of him and that girl is like in a glass box. Anyway, Doctor Strange is coming out soon. Exciting? When When's it coming out again? May 6th, I believe. Ooh, that is very exciting. You know what's even more exciting, though? Only 17 days till... <gasps> Morbius. <laughs> that is, uh, it's, it's true. It's, um, I, was, <laughs> I, I mean, I've hyped it up at the, so much at this point, and I don't even care that much. <laughs> on the on on the Frisbee uh, team, we're now s- soon having to, like, vote in new committee and stuff like that. It's a, a whole big thing. Um, and then uh, we're, like, trying to set a date. So we had a little, little poll. It was, like, the 24th, the 27th, or the 31st, right? <laughs> and I was about to say, like, we go the 31st. And then my girlfriend goes, and, and completely genuine. <laughs> no, we set that day aside for Morbius. I'm, and I was like, you're right. Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, <You're> right. <laughs> as I said, marry that woman. But, um, <laughs> I mean, I am excited for it. Fair enough. I'm not, but I will <laughs> see. But also, I can't, I can't take it. 
I can't take a girl that I like on two days to the movies and the first ones are Uncharted and Morbius. Like, that's just not the start to a healthy... I think so. ...union of love. You know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry that I took you to see Morbius. I know our union of love will be slightly tainted now. um... Um... I thought, I'm not going to lie, before you said the Morbius thing, I thought you were about to somehow know we'd finish the news and somehow amazingly transition into a NordVPN advertisement. Because I, uh, I thought you were going to say, like, what did you say? You are like, did you know that ooh. you can get 70%, 72% off if you... <laughs> oh, let me not seamless at all. We're <laughs> talking about Morbius. Ooh, did you know that NordVPN is our sponsor today? <laughs> well, anyway, NordVPN is our sponsor today. Would you like to keep your online activity safe from people who could see it? Depends. <laughs> but <laughs> in the situations <laughs> that I want them to, can NordVPN help me? Absolutely. Would you also like to unlock entertainment from all around the world on your favorite streaming services? Oh. Such as Netflix? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can do all of that and more with NordVPN, uh, who can keep your online activities safe and can give you that other thing I said, the entertainment thing. It's great. <laughs> I would like to say I have been using NordVPN for several years, and it is extremely helpful, especially with all the traveling around I do, because I'm such a busy, busy boy. You um, are a busy boy. So, so <sighs> PHL, let me ask you this. If I want to watch American Netflix, mm. can NordVPN help me? You're god. Gosh darn right it can. Uh, that's, <laughs> Your God. <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the best things it can help with, in fact, because NordVPN is great in that regard. They also have super fast servers, 30-day money-back guarantee, protects your data while traveling slash in public airport coffee shops. I probably shouldn't read this like word for word off the thing. Um, can, can You're reading? I could not tell. Also, it has unlimited bandwidth, and it's recommended by top technology experts like BBC, Wired, Yahoo Tech, Macworld, The Verge, and others. And others. That's um, so many. I have, I, on a serious note, it is actually an extremely useful tool, uh, so I would recommend getting it. Everyone has a VPN these days. It helps you. It helps me. And you can get a huge discount with the code BHLHudson going to nordvpn.com slash BHLHudson to save 72% off a two-year plan, plus getting one month for free. You know how much stuff... You can read on the internet in one month. A lot. Probably a lot. So, do that thing. It's in the description. Thank you, NordVPN. Sorry about the ad read. All right. <laughs> Moving on to... Calling an ad read is a bit generous. <laughs> an ad <laughs> spelunking is more accurate to what just happened. <laughs> an, an ad supernova. We'll get better at it. I think that one was slightly better than the first one. So, we'll slowly evolve with the times. That's I see no fun. problem with the ones we've been doing. <laughs> uh, by the way, this was recorded on... March 14th, because I am going to London for UFC this weekend, so we got to record it a bit early. Ooh, exciting, exciting stuff there. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about that on the pod. But, um, yes, yeah, so that's why we missed out. All the other news has been happening. Anyway, today's topic is a little bit of a twist on what we did earlier in... I mean, not this year. Earlier in time, where we mm. talked about movies that we love that everyone hates. Now, today, yes. we're going to flip the script just like... Um, uh, Wal- Mark Wahlberg would flip a Wahlburger, nailed it, mm, on the grill, to talk about movies we hate that everyone loves. Now, of course, this can be a little bit, you know, of a gray area. It could be movies that generally people like and that we just aren't big fans of, but that doesn't really mm. play as well in a title. Some of these I do think are ones that people love that I hate. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah I just got a, got a couple things here. So um, do you want to start or should I start? Um, I mean, I can I can go off on this first <laughs> one because we already we already kind of talked about it last week as well. All right. In my movie oh, oh, we did a little bit of a, a Disney thing, a little little Disney mm. Encanto. Mm. Yeah, I mean, my my review is is last week, but yeah, genuinely, like I know people don't view it as a great Disney movie. Like it's not up there with like Tangled or like Moana. I don't think, but like people seem to to like it. Mm. And I cannot seem to figure out why, because I think it is a garbage movie. <laughs> wow. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I don't, it's just so like, ah. Uh, <laughs> the songs are not memorable. There's the Bruno song. That's decent. Bruno is by far the best character. And just I, there's just nothing like in the grandma. There's just, yeah, I don't know. It's just not a good movie. And I do not like it. 
and there's like it's all set in inside the casita the little house even though like like oh, i don't know I, I've, I've i've ranted too much last <laughs> week for it to, to to go again but yeah it's not something okay. i enjoy but i think a lot of people are like oh in kanto it's it's very like yeah i've heard it's up there as like one of the one of the best of the of the new Disney Renaissance. I've heard it's yeah, like and past Frozen, past Tangled. Some people have told me. Have people actually said that? They have, yeah. Well, <laughs> not people I, I like very much. Them. <laughs> <laughs> people I yeah, so, run into on the street, maybe. I think you should watch it and see for yourself because I think it's just, it's just so plotless as well. There's not really much of a a thing going on. All right, I'll give it a try. I think to cleanse your palate, you should watch Luca from last year, which is a. I don't know a Disney Pixar kind of film that I feel like I feel like would Luke cleanse of the, the Fishboy, yes, yes, yes. I feel like that would cleanse the palate a bit because that was a very enjoyable one. But okay, I, I I want to. I still haven't seen Ryan the Last Dragon, which I think Ooh, looks that one's pretty also good. good. Yeah, but all right, fair. Encanto, big Encanto. It's, I mean, yeah. This whole episode is going to be a hella controversial and probably get many a dislike if that was still a thing. But yeah, kind of a negative topic actually. We're just going to be kind of assholes this episode, but I hope that's okay because. We like being assholes sometimes. I'm, I'm going to start off with a cheeky one that involves hundreds of apes and Woody Harrelson. War for the Planet of the Apes was the first one that came to mind, where this received huge critical acclaim. It capped off the trilogy beautifully. It was a magnificent, epic, blah de blah I thought it's... I didn't think it sucked, but it, I thought it was a thoroughly boring... Average. And kind of nonsensical film. Not nonsensical, but had some very dumb moments... Um, and it was just very heavy handed in all of its like symbolism and it's like, it's themes of, you know, ape prison prisoners, <laughs> the classic theme, <laughs> the <ape> classic <laughs> deep philosophical theme of a movie. I love the idea of giving like a presentation about this. Like, okay, moving on to themes. It just says ape prisoners. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, the a prisoner theme of this movie really did not come across as very realistic to me. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, there were a lot of a prisoners, but it just it wasn't compelling enough, you know. Like the visual effects are obviously spectacular. Andy Circus is of course great. Woody Harrelson's pretty good as this villain. He has like a scene where he's shaving his head and he's like talking about how evil he is, and that was pretty solid. Um, and there's a part at the end where there's a big snow mountain collapse, which was you know pretty exciting, I guess. But the whole film, mm. I found it just quite dull. And I didn't really get the hype. And I really liked the first two. So, um, not a fan of Woody Harrelson fights monkeys for three mm, hours. Not a fan. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was the first one that came to my mind. Fair. Um, all right. I don't, I don't think this one should technically count, but I'm going to say it anyways. Because Please. this is a movie that I did not like on the first watch, but I thoroughly enjoyed <clears> on the second watch. But I'm going to take it on my first watch experience here. Just because right. nothing else is coming to mind at the moment. All right. Um, so... Mad Max Fury Road. Ooh. The first time I saw that, I did not enjoy it. I thought it was... I, I think I wasn't in the mood for it or something like that, but I was like, God, this is... Like, the like I, obviously I could recognize that the action was great. It was like a crazy world and stuff like that. But I was like, this is a boring movie. They're just driving. Nothing much is happening. Like, it was mm. very, very long. I remember I you just, complaining about it being, like, kind of plotless and pointless. Yeah. I didn't really enjoy it that much in the, in the like on the first viewing. I, I don't know what it was. It was just like... A combination. I think it was because everyone had hyped it up so much. They're like, oh, mm. this is going to win all the Oscars and all that. I came in thinking it was going to be just, like, spectacular. And I think it's still a very good movie now. But in the first watch, I was I was actually very disappointed with it. I was like, oh, this is, this wow. is not living up to the hype. I watched it again a second time, and I very much enjoyed it. But just going off the initial watch, right. I, did not, I did not like it. So you enjoyed it more watching it on, like, I assume on a, like, small TV I didn't like watch it. TV the screen. first time I watched it was not in the cinema either. Oh, so. okay, okay. Fair. Huh, interesting. What do you remember what kind of turned you around on it? I don't know. I think I was just like I was uh <laughs> not that this is a reason why I didn't like it. But I watched the first one with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I could ruin any film in fairness. I've met the man. I would not want to say I've met the man and that is not a man you want to watch any movie with. <laughs> No, I'm but um, I, love you I don't know, like we were just kind of sitting. And I don't think we were like fully focused on the movie, so I was just like, "Oh, this is not very good." And I watched it just alone in my room one night. It was it was actually quite enjoyable. Fair enough. Um, well, my next one, and again, I realize this episode is just gonna kind of be sort of bitchy and mean. Just like this movie's boring, and I didn't like it, even though everyone loved it. But Little Women was boring, and I didn't <laughs> like it, even though everyone loved it. I thought it it was very very boring and. 
pretentious and up its own butt, and I did not care for it personally. I know it also, <laughs> and maybe this is a problematic thing to say, I know it wasn't like made for me, but in fairness, I saw it with my mother and my sister, both of whom are fans of, I presume, the book it's based on. <laughs> I should probably know that that's a book. Um, and they both hated it too. They said it was extremely boring and sort of like, ru- I, I remember it like kind of just running in circles and being like, I just didn't care about any of their problems. Like, I was like, okay, it's sad that the one girl fell on the ice or whatever. That was kind of sad. But, like, everything else, it's like, oh, my God, Timothy Chalamet doesn't like me, but then he does like me. And I don't... Timothy Chalamet's in everything these days, isn't he? He's such a, like, Hollywood guru, but I don't really like it. He's the new... Who used to be in everything? Um... He's a new, like, younger Cumberbatch. Good shout, you know. But now Cumberbatch is kind of having a bit of a resurgence not, not that he needed a resurgence but he's kind of he's, he's in everything he's back now. from the dead yeah. <laughs> he has been risen um <laughs> <laughs> you have been risen but yeah little women i was not a fan and then at the end it ends spoiler alert with one of the little women writing the book little women i'm pretty sure and i rolled my eyes so that's that and i cringed hard <laughs> and i threw up and shat myself <laughs> No. <laughs> Again, <In> the movie <laughs> Little Women. It actually ends with one of the little women writing the book, and I can spontaneously combust it and shat my pants. <laughs> this podcast has just devolved into the punchline, and then I shat my pants, which is, I mean, it's a fair evolution considering where we started. <laughs> which, I mean, it is funny. <laughs> which, I mean, which I mean, it is literally accurate though. <laughs> That's just factually what I'm happened. just reporting what happens to everyone when they watch the film Little Women. Um, anyway, great. Go on. Um, now, I'm just going to say that I don't know if this is actually a movie. I, I don't know if people actually like this movie. But the people <laughs> I watched it with said they'd seen it before and they loved it. And like the people I've heard talk about it really like it. But I was not a fan of watching <laughs> Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> what an oddly specific bone to pick. <laughs> this whole episode just Little Women and Crazy Rich Asians. Just like the most obscure, like random movies. Just be like, kind of kind of not my vibe. <laughs> it's not even that we hate. Yeah. I'm like, it's just like, just like mild disagreements. Like, mm, wasn't wasn't awesome, was it? They weren't that crazy. <laughs> from what I remember, which is not much from this movie, because I do believe I fell asleep a few times. Um, it, di- it just seemed like a bunch of somewhat pretentious people. It just seems like a like a dick family that won't al- allow someone to marry into it or something like that. And then there's like the classic comeuppance where it's like, ah, oh, a big fallout. Then the mo- the stepmother or whatever. And then at the end, they're like, oh, yeah, you can, you can marry into it, you know. Uh, it sounds riveting. And then I shat myself. <laughs> you <laughs> saved it at the end there. <laughs> Never fails. Um, it's such a freaking knee slapper. <laughs> if you're ever in trouble, just bust that one out. <laughs> Either, no matter what the situation Funeral, is. Funeral, class presentation. If you've actually just like been caught stealing, <laughs> just say you shat yourself and then they'll, they'll laugh so let hard you go you on your away. merry way. <laughs> What'd you say? They'll laugh so hard you can run away. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, I mean, again, not a movie that I sit there, I, like, lay awake at night. I'm like, oh my god, Crazy Rich Asians! What a terrible movie! <laughs> Why does everyone love it? But uh, this came to just came to mind, really. Fair enough. Well, speaking of the craziest, richest Asian, Joker. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> 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 Oh, God. Now, look, again, this one doesn't really count, because I thought it was a pretty great movie. But... <laughs> I'd just like to say... Now, this podcast episode is titled Movies We Hate That Everyone Else Loves. But I'm going to take a slight deviation here and talk about a movie that I love that everyone else also loved. And that? then I shot myself. <laughs> I've just, oh. I've just included it because everyone else went, like, crazy about this movie. And I thought it was, like, it was pretty good, but I thoroughly did not think it was as good as everyone else said. There was also the <laughs> incident about the whole ticket thing that we talked about in another episode, which may or may oh, not yeah. have kind of ruined it for me. Anyway, I'll move. Okay, I'll pick another one because I was 
And now I can put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> also, um, Avengers Infinity War. Now I can put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> the Godfather. <laughs> Back secured. <laughs> NordVPN is a great sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, I like how we laugh as if it's not true, but it is. <laughs> it is a great it sponsor. A great... Please get it. So, <laughs> give me money. <laughs> Please pay me. <laughs> so we just got sponsored. I'm gonna need all your money right now. Okay, this one definitely counts, but I have not seen it in a while. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> 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 This is such a disaster. The movie Hugo from Martin Scorsese about the little boy who lives in a train or whatever. I fucking hated it. I remember seeing this as a, I believe I was 10 when it came out, and I hated it with a passion. I just thought it was the most boring and like weird movie. It just made me weirdly like uncomfortable and kind of scared in a weird way. It was just like mm. a weird vibe. And I have not seen it since, and it's probably a great Oscar-winning film or whatever, but uh, I'm going to keep it here, because that's what professional movie reviewers do. Because that is what professional <laughs> movie reviewers do. Um, I will say, Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Hmm. <laughs> Movies everyone <laughs> loved. <laughs> Movies everyone loves. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, again, I know it's not a world-renowned movie or something like that, but it, it's the kind of thing that... It just did not get as much hate as I think it deserved. <laughs> Again, I'm a huge Pirates fan. I love the franchise. It was just, oh, it was awful. And just, yeah. Like, I really sat there and like, and you came out and said, you ludicrous bastard, said that it was better than the fourth one. And I was like, no, this is just wrong. <laughs> it's not how it is. Um, so yeah, I just, I just, I'm just sitting here thinking it should absolutely be... It, sh it should have been better than, than what it was, and people should be more angry with it than, than they are. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. I think it's a thoroughly bad movie. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... I mean, I have a bunch here that I wrote down. I'm gonna speed round a bunch real quick, because I think there's only a couple that I want to actually say anything about. Um, Spencer, we've talked about. Thought it was okay. Didn't love it. Ghostbusters Afterlife, we've talked about. Thought it was okay. Didn't love it. Same with Shazam. Uh, I think it's an okay movie, but everyone else went crazy about it. Venom, I guess, doesn't really count because not everyone loved it, but I think similarly to Pirates 5, I disliked it more. Same uh, Venom 2, more so, maybe. Um, Venom 2, I think, is, yeah, I think Venom 2, a lot of people said it was, like, say, on par with Venom 1, which mm -hmm. I do not, I think Venom 1's a, I like Venom 1, I, I like it, it's a good movie. And Venom 2 is just so bad. It is, truly horrendous. And Venom 1 is also bad, I'm not going to let you get away with that. Um, <laughs> Batman v Superman, very controversial film, some people love it, some people hate it. I don't think it's great. So I guess that goes in here somehow. The Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 2, most people didn't like, but it's had this like resurgence now since Andrew Garfield, and everyone's like, you know what? Those movies are great, and you're just saying you love them now because he's in the. It's like no, it's still a. It still was not a good. It's movie. a bad movie. It's still yeah. You can't just <laughs> you can't just change history. Um, Black Mass, <laughs> terrible movie. Uh, Toy Story 3 was not. A, you really just let me get away with that. What Black Mask? Black Mass. Oh. I thought he, I was Black Mask was like I don't know what movie that that is. <laughs> Black Mass, a brilliant movie. I, I threw it in here just to just to fuck with you. Um, it's uh, an okay movie. Toy Story it's, three. It's a brilliant movie. Probably. Seven point nine on the BHL meter. <laughs> Toy Story three is probably pretty good, but it scared me as a kid. Diary of Wimpy Kid one, I just remember really really disliking, even though I really like the next two. And what? Diary of the Wimpy Kid one is also pretty good. I don't know. I, again, Although I, Roderick Rules is still the best one. A classic. The Dog Days also excellent. But I haven't actually seen Diary of the Wimpy Kid one since I saw it in the cinema as a very small child. Again, great movie reviewing. And on a similar note, the movie Contiki uh, remains my least favorite movie of all time because I saw it when I was eleven and I hated it because it was scary about men like drowning on a boat or whatever. And my dad dragged me to see it. Okay, I got yeah, I got a, f a few. I got, I got, got, I got one. one. I got one. Hit it. The Huntsman thing. Mmm, Snow White and the Huntsman. Yeah. I feel like people like that movie, don't they? Yeah. I, I don't I think most not. people think I about think it. it's... Yeah, again, like, I, I don't know if that's something, again, people are like, oh, you know what, it's a great movie? Snow White and the Huntsman. But it feels very... I don't know if it came out before Frozen or after Frozen, but it feels very just... a lot. It draws a lot of parallels to Frozen in a way that's just not very cool. It feels like The Witcher and Frozen had a baby and it just kind of 
it didn't wa- did not work out. <laughs> it just feels like that baby was not raised correctly. That baby was not loved by either of the parents. <laughs> like, there's the whole like ice powers, but then there's also uh, Hemsworth trying to be like a cool huntsman that's just not really useful at all. Um, mm. Yeah, not a great movie, I don't think. It's kind of. I feel like that came out in the time where it was like they were trying to make the, all these live action, you know, classic fairy tales, and it was sort of trying to capitalize yeah. on that. Uh, yeah, never seen it, but didn't look great. Um, mm. I can do my last five here again as kind of a speed round. Um, and then if you have some more, you can go for it. Yeah, but, um, I'll, I'll interject. Um, controversial one. I can't believe we're about to revisit this franchise in even more controversial fashion. But I have to say, and again, I like this movie, but mm. the original Ghostbusters <laughs> is not as great as I think people make it out to be. I'm just saying. <laughs> There's no CGI ghost of a dead man in it. <laughs> Oh no, we're not revisiting that part. Uh, but it's just like it's a it's a good movie. It's a fun. It's a classic. It's a fun '80s movie, and it has you know funny jokes and good performances. But I think people put it a bit on a pedestal. Where like it's a pretty fun, you know, cheesy movie. I don't. It's yeah. not like one of the best movies ever, in my opinion. It's, I don't think people say it is though. Some people have it as their favorite. I, I think you just have a very, very, very <laughs> strange obsession, and like hatred towards the Ghostbusters franchise. I guess, maybe. I don't know. It's still, again, doesn't really fit this episode at all because it is still a good movie. Imagine just I make the thumbnail like of movies we hate, <laughs> just the Ghostbusters. <laughs> and then, oh, this one's going to be kind of controversial. I feel bad saying this, but, and again, I like it, but not as much as the 40-year-old virgin is a, mm. has some very funny scenes in it. And like Steve Carell is very funny. You know what? I actually agree with you. It's just, I, it's but, Go ahead, sorry. It's not. It's just not that good. Like it's. I just don't... It's, it's a funny movie. That's. But it's very like Ant Man. It's very run of the mill. And it's very like I don't know. I. I think it's funny in parts, but I think some parts of it are just kind of like, not, that funny. And like it just kind of like, again coming from the guys who use we shatter ourselves as the ultimate punchline. <laughs> but like it just kind of. It also it's really long weirdly, and like it goes on for forever. And I think like I just like. You see the see- the classic scenes, like the waxing scene and all that stuff on, like, you know, see them as their individual clips, and those are hilarious, and, and those are still funny and you, think, and you automatically think, oh, that's a great movie, very yeah, funny. Yeah, but then classic. when you, like, rewatch like, the full thing, it is a little, it does drag in parts a bit, and it is a little bit, like, I don't know, not all of it hits, in my opinion. It's, I don't know if it's, like, improv or something. <clears throat> I think it's just something about that style of comedy that doesn't really work for all of it, in my opinion. I see. I, yeah, I mean, I it's a long time since I've actually watched it, but, yeah, it's... It does seem like a bit of a this you know run of the mill movie that's mm-hmm. just been put put on a pedestal for some random reason. <laughs> I'll say one movie that again I don't hate it, but I do have qualms with it. Mm. The live action remake of The Lion King. Mm. And I do think this is mainly because I love the. Uh, you look. You seem surprised. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just. I was pulling up the the comments to do later, and there are forty one comments. That's Ooh. insanity. Sorry, go ahead. How do we have 40? What? Which Sorry. video is this on? It's our latest pod. That didn't even do that well, did it? It did okay. Anyway, sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge we'll get, get to, to it. it. Sorry about that. Um, is The Lion King, and I think that's mainly because I love the original Lion King, like, so much. It's just, it's a brilliant movie. Love it. It's, it's, it's yeah, one of my favorites. I've got a... You know, you know me. I've got a lot of like Lion King merch, a lot of shirts. Just it's great. Got like the ringtone for it's it. Concerning. As well. It's it's <laughs> it's borderline creepy. <laughs> um, and then this new one again. It's just like it's a cash grab from Disney, where it's just like you can't really do much original stuff with it. Like they, they like the Jungle Book. I think pulls it off because not that it's a less known movie, but they did it in a way that actually worked. Whereas the Lion King, they basically shot for shot remade it, mm. but just with. Yeah, live action looking animals that have no facial expressions. Um, and then they sing, Can You Feel the Love Tonight during the day? So. <laughs> yeah, no, fair. Heavy qualms. Big qualms. That's fair. I don't think I'll ever watch that movie. Like, why would I? Um, in a similar <laughs> Why vein, would I ever bother? <laughs> again, a film I haven't seen for forever. And... <sighs> a film I have not seen in a while. And. Um, don't really remember anything about but i remember not really enjoying happy feet just putting that out there oh i like happy feet i don't remember anything about it 
but I don't think I liked it. I think I also didn't like the McDonald's toys that came with it, so that might have like set in a weird hatred mm, for it. I could have set in a, a deep, deep rooted <laughs> hatred. <laughs> um, the film Lady Bird, super critically acclaimed, kind of uh, like Little Women, where it's like just like won a bunch of Oscars, I think. And I just, I didn't think it was bad. I just didn't get the hype. I was like, that was okay. I didn't think it was amazing. Um, mm. And my final one, and I don't even know if anyone liked this, but I'm just putting it out there because I want to talk about it. The film Downsizing, starring Matt Damon, may be the most boring film I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, yeah, you did. You did give me a lot of talk about Downsizing. I and there was so much hate. hype around the vaults. Yeah, but... the, oh, the vaults was in it. And Yassine and I saw it together, and we, like, I, that is the one of the only movies I've ever considered walking out of because I was so bored. It was just completely, it had, like, an interesting first 15 minutes, and then everything else was just, I don't give a flying shit and um <laughs> it was just yeah and yasin and i both like i think considered clawing our own eyes out because it was so boring uh you know I, like mm. i said i get a little dramatic on the pod but this is not but <laughs> this was but this is not one of this is not one of those dramatic moments <laughs> no. but yeah i just I, it's probably a whatever movie but i remember it being very boring so that's my final one Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I don't like again. I should, I should have planned this because I'm sure I've got a few movies that I really just don't like that others do. But I, I can't. Nothing springs to mind right now. That's fair enough. Well, ah, uh, we don't have any new Tom Canoes. Big shame. Why should we, hypothetically, revisit our announcements in such days where we record the announcements and such closer to the actual thing? Ooh. Because this is coming out in two weeks and. I need to sort through those comments because apparently there are 41 comments, which is pretty wild. And then we can we can do the Tom Canoes with that as well. Um, yeah, that sounds good. And also thank you guys for 41 comments. That is wild yeah, that's, that's for us. Crazy. So thank you. Keep, keep it up, guys. What if it's like 20 Peacemaker ones? <laughs> Almost certainly, but keep it up. Why not? Keep it up. Uh, so time. Hey, now it's time for the Tom Canoes and the announcements and such in a little bit. Take it away. And we're back for the Tom Canoes and the announcements and such. What a crazy moment i got friday on the line what are you gonna do a point in time <laughs> well we got a lot of that coming up i have previewed a couple of the comments and let's just say the uh the meme continues um, oh, very good in a somewhat hateful way i have to say with some of them but we'll get to that um oh, okay. but <laughs> firstly it's time for the tom news So in wow, that feels so weird saying it in the announcements and such segment. It's kind of gross and feral and unnatural. Kind of Colin, some might say. <laughs> I know you were doing a, a name pun there, but it also just sounds like you're insulting Colin Farrell and saying he's gross and unnatural. <laughs> oh, which would be well, just a both work. <laughs> Did you hear? By the way, there's there's a gentleman TV show in the works. Anyway, what? Um, anyway, we'll get to that next time. As reported by IGN India, there was a photo that allegedly showcases Tom Cruise in Multiverse of Madness, like a set photo. And I have to say, I don't know if I can put it in the video for, like, legal reasons, maybe, because I didn't put it in this article from bamsmackpow.com, although that may be just related to the website it's on. But, um... Bam Smack Pow. It is a photo... Uh, this is from Moth Culture on Twitter. Of do- I, yeah, okay, I mean, I can send you a snap of it. It's just... If you look it up, yeah, Moth Culture on Twitter, it's just Tom Cruise looking exceedingly nutty with what can only be described as a stash of the year contender. And um, that, oh god, let me let me get a picture. He of looks this, like please. he's he he looks like he's just oh my know, god. set fire to many what? buildings. What is this? <laughs> what this he somehow is? looks like a hu- a human squidward somehow. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, if that's the look they're going for, I wouldn't call this what is like I think his name is like superior Iron say, Man or something. If that's the look I thought you were gonna say if that's the look they're going for, I wouldn't call it a look. <laughs> I call it more a tragedy. But um yeah, anyway, good for good for Tom Cruise. So yeah. Anyway, possible Tom Cruise, maybe just rumored Tom Cruise. Anyway, mm. now it's time for the announcements and such. Take it away, us right now. Right now. Um, God damn. All right. So we're just going <laughs> to... There are a couple of different threads here. I think I'm just going to have to run through them. Um, uh, let me. Is this on the know. latest pod? Yeah. All right, um, let me get these up as well. Hey, we start with BHL Hudson. What a joke. FD Kaming. What a joke. Yassine. What a joke. We then move mm. to Morbius. What a joke. Morbius. What a dune. Peacemaker. What a joke. <laughs> Fake mustache. What a hand. Peacemaker. What a bird. Peacemaker, what a Hercule, probably this best sneaky gad in the Simon Doyle. <laughs> what does that even mean? We then move to 
Fidalgard, what a laughable co-host. Be- this one, this one <laughs> cut deep. BHL Hudson, what a nose. I don't know um, <laughs> <laughs> how this has happened, but um, I feel slightly targeted. Be- Fiegel Hudson, what a nose. Oh, that's so good. Uh, Charlie Cox, that's what a tumbleweed. Guy. Garfield what? the cat, what an Andrew. Garfield the cat, what a Nardfield. FDK, what a gamer. Um, then we have Daniel says, another great and really enjoyable episode filled with really good mini reviews. I love the Batman, Batman, and like Death on the Nile. P.S. Shaming me on only getting three right out of 15. What a joke. Another P.S. <laughs> saying I'm one of the more devoted fans. Really made my day. Keep up the great work. Oh, and one more thing. Morbius. <laughs> one more thing. <gasps> Morbius. <laughs> and then M- Morbius with an April Fool's release date. This is just, uh, this will never die now. We've just, we've just completed it. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Cal W has. Oh. <laughs> okay, he just cop- I think copy and pasted the Wikipedia entry for joke. <laughs> so oh Peacemaker, and it's just like a giant essay. Oh Peacemaker. my god. A joke is a display of humor. <laughs> <laughs> oh what my god. A proper paragraph he's written. written. Someone says, okay, this has gone too far. And then Michael Scarn says, one could say it is in fact a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that someone was too far. What a joke. <laughs> also, uh, Cal W, I really hope BHL spends like five minutes reading this. If not, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> God. Well, you know, we've lost a subscriber. Sorry, this day. Cal. Sorry, Cal. Um, then we have. Um, <laughs> and we also just address the absolute confusion from Movie Guy. In that <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? What do you mean, what a joke? Yeah, also, my... Um, what podcast is this? <laughs> my friend, uh, who was here just a moment ago, read the first comment on my computer, and it just said, BHL Hudson, what a joke. And she was like, ha, they really got you. I was like, ah, oh, little do you know. This is a great <laughs> little meme. Little do you know that BHL Hudson, what a nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, movie, Michael Scarn says, can confirm, started watching BHL's channel when I was 10, and I'm almost an adult now. So I've quite literally grown up with this podcast slash BHL main channel. Um, I'm so sorry that that is part of your life. <laughs> um, terribly sorry, but also very, very sweet and kind of, kind of wholesome. So, yeah, I don't know at what point in time you started watching, but uh, I guess if you're almost in adult now, maybe seven years. But ago. I will pay for the years of therapy that I owe you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Michael Scar, and that's that's quite a wholesome thing. And Movie Guy says, if my childhood was a crown, then all the big jewels will be the poorly planned podcast. If that makes sense. Goodness, what a beautiful metaphor slash very nice compliment michael scarn says i think another reason why episode 124 did so well was because it had a joke in the thumbnail and jokes attract views (laughs) (laughs) i love this so much Um, it's so good it's i love it i mean also there's some interesting comments like about the stuff we talked about i'm just not reading those (laughs) but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna touch on those because (laughs) what a joke (laughs) yeah like interesting like yeah i thought the batman was this and peacemaker was really good in this way and i'm just like oh this bitch i would have knows great <laughs> morbius <laughs> uh jane says i hope dog is set in the same universe as gambit but the dog plays gambit and it's just two hours of tatum watching the movie traumatized sitting in a bath by himself i would enjoy that and yes another another great idea <laughs> by the way Mm. Not confirmed yet, but I am perhaps watching Dog in the next few days. No. Oh my god. I, I might I might be. Harry says Peacemaker, what a silly, wacky, whimsical, goofy, ludicrous, ridiculous gag. Thank you, Harry. Baxter says pacification manufacturer. What a jocular witticism. Kean says, Lately I've been getting into an unhealthy habit of putting on the podcast while I try to get to sleep. I just overall prefer a music podcast to the sound of nothing, and last night was no different. I put on this pod after a long day and went to sleep. I can actually kind of relate to this. Uh, I do like to listen to either podcasts or a show or something as I'm falling asleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, These days, it's it's a lot of new girl, I have to say. Um, mm. The next morning, I go down to have breakfast, and my mama asking me how did I sleep, to which I said back to her, pretty good. She then said to me that I must have stayed up late as she heard the podcast playing late at night, and I explained that I listened to the pod while trying to sleep. She then said to me that she heard some pretty interesting, not in a good way, <laughs> noises from what I was listening to. So me not having listened to the episode beforehand, and around the halfway point, I could only realize that my ma'am most likely heard Freddie's very clever pun, 
Cumbledore <laughs> and all the backstory <laughs> behind that. I now make sure my doors oh, close no. before I go to bed. I am so God. sorry. What um, a super villain origin story. <laughs> that your ma knows about Cumbledore. I was I considering cutting Cumbledore out, but I decided to leave it in, and um, I'm so sorry. And I'm pretty sure the episode this is going in, we have similarly terrible things. So I'm so mm. sorry. Uh, you can play this to your mom, Mrs. Konicky. I apologize. I thought you were going to say Mrs. Cumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> ruined it rubbing rubbing salt in the wound (laughs) i'm so sorry um no yeah sorry about that um and movie guy says same i listen to the pod when i go to sleep maybe use earphones but it might be bad for you in the long run that's what i do yeah i mean now i live you know uh in my own accommodation so i can have no earphones uh Mm. new girl on or whatnot but yeah good stuff nice sorry and finally gc green says had to sit down on saturday morning at my high school to take my three and a half hour sat uh he then uh, specifies what the SAT is, and I have also taken the SAT. Yes, it was a. Mm, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> was not a not a not a fun thing. Um, got out and immediately re- relaxed with the pod. Nothing better than getting in a good laugh after such a stressful event. Hey, I appreciate. Ah, uh, um, that oh, I love. God, just damn. it warms the heart. It warms the heart. So I it hope does you did well. Warm the heart. And um, yeah, glad we could, glad we could uh, assist afterwards. And then finally on the other pod, the most latest one, the most latest one. Great job. The most latest one. ZJ says they, job, BHL. <laughs> they finally did the ad read. Cal says, I like how BHL says it. <laughs> this one made me laugh. I like how BHL says that the more recent episodes of the Poorly Planned Podcast have become too professional, <laughs> as if they didn't just describe Dumbledore getting a hand job a week ago, which is very, <laughs> very, very fair. Michael very, Skarn. I don't think there could be a more accurate comment. <laughs> Michael Skarn is dissing our professionalism. <laughs> still asking us to review pain and gain. I'll think about it. Um, Michael Scar, please, it's not happening. <laughs> With all these Batman movies, it's kind of weird we didn't get a Batman Beyond film in live action. Yes, I actually would love to see that uh, from Josie. Title said, Batman movies ranked, and you didn't rank them. What a joke. Yeah, I realized as we were editing, as I, as we were, as I was editing. Uh, as we, I was hard at work editing. <laughs> we didn't even actually rank them. Um, and so I did put that in the description. So check the description. I'm so sorry about mm. that. And then there's just a series of 10 comments. Bat- Batman movies ranked. <laughs> also, I realize we forgot to actually rank <laughs> yeah. Also, it just that's a uh, comment chain of just Joker, what a Joker. Batman, what a Joker. Batman, what a Circus <laughs> Alfred. Adam West, what a bomb. Jack, what a Nicholson. Two-Face, what a Tommy Lee Jones. Riddler, what a carry. You know, it kind of, it, it goes on. Um, mm. it's, it's a tremendous thing. You should go and read that in your spare time. But, um, yeah. That I'm, just, I'm reading it right now. It's yeah. Adam West, what a bomb. <laughs> It's wondrous. Batman, what a tragic joke. Um, Alfred, what a circus to Batman's, what a joke. <laughs> Did that say that? It's so good. Oh my god. Um, what is this? Movie guy, you said that you wanted to see a Nolan version of the Riddler during the early stage of Dark Knight Rises. They were going to have Riddler as the main villain, um, but he was considered too a similar as the main villain as he was a similar character to the Joker. They were going to cast DiCaprio. Ooh. DiCaprio? DiCaprio is Riddler. I think I, think I could have been a shout, you know. I can um, definitely see it. I'm disappointed that the fact that there were zero mentions of mm, Michael Morbius shoot the dog, Kane. <laughs> Still a great episode. <laughs> what a comment. He's too busy dropping his new single. Yes, I, oh my god, what did we call that? Um, shuffling with uh, a featuring Bone Creeks or something? <laughs> or is it like wheezing with a bit of, I don't, what was it? I think it was, yeah, wheezing with some Bone Creeks or something like that. The most iconic album. Um, <laughs> Daniel ranks them and then says, "P.S. Gr- the best sponsorship ever. Great episode as always. Yeah, so people seem to enjoy the sponsorship. I got a few messages from people we know as well saying that they enjoyed our sponsored segment. Um, Battle of Saber reveals that some of the things I said were not true because some of the things are from the comics that I said were not from the comics. So Battle of Saber calls you out on all your bullshit. I appreciate Battle of Saber. Um, <laughs> correct me on that because I was totally wrong. GC Green, major episode 19 flashbacks with this episode. I was on the edge of my seat waiting for you to start discussing the mobility of Keaton's suit or the hugeness of the Affleck, which is what we discussed in our costumes mm. episode, which, <laughs> yeah, we should we should revisit sometime. Maybe, you know, so many movies have come out since then. I feel like we could do a whole other, like, superhero movie costumes episode because that was, yeah. that was uh, probably, yeah, probably my favorite. And Anson says the Lego Batman movie. <laughs> Probably the best one ever. <laughs> the Lego Batman movie is absolutely iconic. By far the most I've ever laughed in the theater. I love that movie so much. Great film, honestly. Um, mm. Now, real quick, on the fan page, we have this picture of Toby, uh, of Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland hugging with Tobey Maguire looking sad next to them, and he's labeled Charlie Cox 
and the others are labeled Toby right. and Andrew showing up. Also, can I say, in that, all that behind-the-scenes stuff, it feels like Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield really were, like, best buddies, and Tobey Maguire was just kind of, like... Tobey Maguire was just... Kind of there. I mean, I think... Well, how old is Tobey Maguire? He is, I believe, 43. 43. Uh, never mind, then. Because uh, just, like, in, in mannerism and mannerisms and stuff i think andrew and tom holland are much more like like young in boys their young boys but andrew's 40 him and him and andrew are like either the same age or a year apart yeah maybe anyway sorry <laughs> maybe oh <laughs> shit and then there's a picture of nick miller uh looking jake johnson looking um not his best i would say um <laughs> then joe c answered our trivia thing remember he had a trivia about um brenton thwaites or meeting the ghostbusters and it turns out the brenton thwaites one thwaites one was correct he is going to his comic-con so if you meet brenton i thwaites, called it we did I we think both I called, called it. it right he said you were both right uh and then he attached the picture he said this doesn't look like a lot like a mugshot but it was still funny regardless and it does look like thwaites just being the saddest little boy mm. Um, then GC Green <laughs> responded to my UFC story on Instagram, which, by the way, we'll talk about that next episode, saying, uh, <laughs> he said, what, let, me, let me pull up the exact thing he said, because it made me laugh quite a bit. But it was, it was basically a video of, like, the crowd going crazy at UFC, and um, he wrote, yo, the crowd for the dog movie starring Channing Tatum as dog is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> which gave me a good laugh. Nice. Um, and then finally, 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 on the pod out of context page, it was posted on the story, um, topic today on podcast, wrong answers only. So I guess like predictions for what we were going to talk about. And I just wanted to go through some of the answers real quick. Freddie's weird obsession with doorknobs. Has that, is that a theme that we've done? Is that a, is Is that that a thing? thing? I don't know. Um, Brett haunts them an actual podcast (laughs) topic. Them watching the Patriots trailer over and over. It's a try not to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Quiz episode. But you start with the answers and guess the questions. Not with the worst shot, that's, I guess. That's, Could be kind <laughs> of Put that in the idea bank. <laughs> <laughs> Ranking of all of the what a joke quotes from the podcast. That would take probably 10 hours, but worth it. <laughs> Most attractive bald actors ranked. I genuinely think we should do this sometime. I think, I think so as well. Best Marvel porns and... Donda 2 review. Wait, best Marvel porns? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we'd have to do some cursory research for that one. Kidding. I already know them all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying, kidding. I've never seen a person naked. But then. <laughs> and then, just the weirdest one. Donda 2 review. Kanye's latest album. <laughs> <laughs> so random. Anyway. I won't lie. I think of everyone in the world, you and I are probably the last people who <laughs> ever review a Kanye album. <laughs> Anyways, one of my friends, he came up, one of my friends, he came up to me the other day. He was like, yo, bro, have you heard the new Kanye? It's straight fire. This is word for word. Mm. It's straight fire. I was like, what are you talking about? (laughs) Who are you? I thought he was called Ye now. (laughs) First of all, I think it's pronounced Ye. Second of all, I can't believe I just had to say that on a podcast. Um, I believe it's pronounced Ye. (laughs) Is it? I thought it was Ye. Anyway, these announcements have already gone like <laughs> a third of the episode. So the, that was it for this week. Um, hit the bell button, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, leave a <laughs> this like. Has no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> leave a like and a comment, and um, and like the comment and remember to like the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you're listening Apple Podcasts and Spotify, <laughs> um, leave a five star rating. All right, back to the pod. Wow. I oh can't my believe. god. I can't believe all of those comments were from Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, thank you very much for listening. You can find me on YouTube, BHL Hudson, Instagram, Twitter, BHL underscore Hudson. You can email the pod at bhlhudsonvids at gmail.com. Click the link down below to find NordVPN. Our Ooh, code. BHL NordVPN Hudson. in the outro as well? God damn. Oh, they've they're really taking over this pod. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Twitter at FTK underscore Dalt Sniper. You can find me on Instagram at Fidalgard. And you can find me on YouTube at FTK Space Gaming. Thank you very much for listening, and we will see you next time. I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> <laughs>